hello everyone so today uh, we are going to implement this uh, prop throwing system so first from the inventory quick access menu i will equip the rock and when i right click we can see uh, prediction of predicted projectile path and when i left click the character will throw that item like that so in this episode i will focus on how to draw that projectile path so now once i throw it that item is not available in the inventory so yeah first i will focus on how to implement the uh, throwable arc the predict projectile predicted path and after that in the next episode i will implement i will focus on how to actually throw that object in the intended path and after throwing how to remove it from the inventory and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so the next thing i want to implement is this when i go and collect some throwable items such as this stone if I equip the stone and when I press the aiming button like for example in the keyboard and mouse right click and if the in the gamepad Xbox controller LT button so I should see some trajectory that predicts the path the item will fall when item will hit when I throw so then if I press RT or left click the character should throw that item right so let's see how to do that right so let me um, open the character blueprint first sorry this is the character and this is extended from the third person character so let me open up that one right now here also I need an aiming input so let's go to inputs we have use so fire input we also need aim input so okay. in keyboard and mouse right click and in the gamepad LT left trigger axis right uh, now when I press a action if the character has equipped an item so we can check is there valid equipped item if yes so um there can be many types of item we have items such as just artifacts or health packs so any other stuff so if we want to show the trajectory of throwing first we need to make sure if uh, we need to check if we have a throwable item at, uh, in our hands so one way to do this would be open the blueprint of the oh this is health pack oh no this is a store so here we can define an interface and implement a function to get if it is a throwable item if yes we can activate a trajectory but i think it would be better let me go to the first uh, base class of uh, all the interactable objects which is bp interactable here we already have VPI interactable. Here I'll define a function 
called a oh wait here uh, not a let's is row and let's set an output yes but if we return row this would be a throwable item otherwise not a throwable item by default we will get false and now for the stone <coughs> here uh, is throwable let me implement it and return true now go back to the character and we can use is throwable if yes here uh, we can use here now we can activate an arc but we don't have an arc at the moment so to add an arc let me first add a spline component i call it arc spline also i'll add a boolean variable called trophy by default it should be false and if we get a true here no here we can set mm, throw in to true and when we release it set throw in to false oh wait maybe not throw in anyway yeah that's better so we can uh, use this predict projectile path by trace channel not here and using a launch velocity and a starting point we can get a set of points that represent the path the projectile will take so where should be the starting position right uh, let's let's collapse this part first projectile path because this part will be a lot bigger right here as the starting position let's use get after location and some point in front of the characters direction that we are looking at so also get control rotation and get forward vector multiply this by let's say 50 add to this so in this way we will get a point in front of the character characters the direction that we are looking at so let's use that point as the starting position and as the launch velocity for that also let me get the forward vector and multiply by let's say 1500 That should be the launch velocity. Projectile radius. Uh, let me put five. I don't know. <coughs> Trace channel world. Let's keep world dynamic and see what happens. Then, uh, 
just to visualize the path let's get all these points and run uh, for each loop now let's draw a debug line draw debug so center is this radius Oh wait. I not a server debug is just a debug point. So debug point here. Yeah. Size ten color let's say red. Duration one seconds. Okay, and uh, this has to repeat as long as we hold the aiming button. So let me add a delay here and like how long? Let's get word. Delta seconds and do a check if we are still aiming. If no, we don't have to do anything. Uh, if yes, we need to draw this debug line again. So I'll connect it here. Shall we check? Move here, pick up a stone and equip a stone and right click. Okay, we do get some points, but We don't really see that. Yeah, to this forward vector, let's add, let me break, no, let's add uh, some Z component so that it moves up a little bit always. So, 0.5. Right, so I equipped a stone and yeah, it is working. So that's why we can see this path. See? See, that's the path. And while we are aiming, we don't really see that clearly because uh, the path is right in front of us. So that's why we have to kind of look to the side after drawing the email line see but we get the path so so here maybe to get a bit clearer R that is visible from the camera let's combine rotators and let's add some asset component like five and let's see right okay now we can see a bit of a path but we don't see it until the end why 
Do we have a limit here? Oh, actually, here we do have a draw debug type. Oh, I didn't. Uh, let's try that. Debug time. One second. And see how it looks. Right. Yeah, we get a better representation. So I didn't have to do this. This part. Okay. Also, let's try the word aesthetic and see if we get any different result. Okay. Okay. Now let's look into how to actually draw the arc. So for that, I have already added this arc spline. And here, get the reference add spline point at index. Point is this element, index is the array index, and coordinate space local. Right. And we are drawing this uh, arc spline for the second time because this is a recursive part, so we need to clean the spline. So, here. Clear spline points. So instead of connecting it here, we need to connect here. Right. Then using this arc spline and its points, we can add uh, spline meshes to draw the predicted projectile path right uh, in order to uh, draw a spline mesh we need to have a simple cube like object so let me create a folder models and I already have this uh, object spline beam very small see this one so I'm gonna use it um, how? so along along the each point of uh, we added to the arc spline we can add spline measures but uh, the first point the starting point and the next point so those are the two points so because of that we have to get the points like this. Let me get the reference to the arc spline and get number of the spline points. Let me add a reroute node here. And collapse first. I'll call it. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, because we're already inside a mess. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Spline mesh. Right. Now we can run a for loop follow from the first index to last index minus one. 
so I will use this one as the last index and then we can uh, call add spline mesh component mm. yes the relative transform let's leave it everything oh here yeah. I can use spline beam object that I just imported okay and I'll um, promote this to a variable let's call it spline meshes now I'm going to have a lot uh, not just a one variable a lot so I'll convert this to a array spline meshes and add add this now we create a item and here we have to set start and end set start and end start position start tangent end position and end tangent right and now from here we can using this index we can get location at spline point and get tangent at the spline point so first this index should go here start position and start tangent then this index plus one same thing start position and start tangent connect like this now this drawing also uh, should happen oh, after everything is done we can connect to the output uh, now this uh, drawing of spline meshes should also update as we look around so we need to clear out this spline meshes as well so here just like we clear the spline point we can get the reference to spline meshes and destroy oh we can't destroy yeah let's collapse this part also to a sub node let's call it Clear. clearing now here let's do run a for each loop and each element destroy and after completed again clear exit okay um, here let me split this and uh, I have made a mistake here 
mistake is this should be minus 2 because uh, the index is always less than 1 from the length the number of spline points also I have made a mistake here the first text index should be 0 not the number of spline points sorry about that right let's test now equip see now we see some line okay now we can we don't really need the debug type of this projectile predicted path and also let me create a simple material Make it translucent so we can have some transparency. Me zero color base color. Fifth parameter color. I'll make it white. the missile color as well and the opacity uh, let's promote it to a variable let's make it pointer yeah then let's assign this color and uh, this one this object should I set it here as well? Oh, it is already set. Okay, now let's see. Equip, right click. Now we see the path. It's not too wide enough. And the next point is when you click left click the character should throw that object at the moment it's doing the same thing as for the survival uh, the health kit because I haven't overridden that function mm. uh, here in this material we have to enable select the material and search spline and enable used with spline meshes otherwise you wouldn't uh, be able to use this mesh with the spline so previously we didn't had the material so that's why we didn't see why see now we have it okay so right now when I press left click, uh, we should be able to throw the object and also when I release mouse, that uh, beam should disappear. Mm -hmm. So what disappeared didn't happen. Ah, right. So maybe instead of doing this check here, we can let me cut this and put after the clearing part so once i release right click we should be able to add that path and the projectile predicted path should vanish right it happens as expected okay so we have already taken about half an hour therefore i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching
so I will continue from this point uh, next time uh, the actual throw-in animation and throw-in the raw part so project files will be available for the download link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye